gentlemen, welcome to the International Racquetball Tour. Coming to you live from Lombard, Illinois. My name is Momo Zalata alongside Cole Sendry, who's going to be commentating with, with me here today. Welcome, Cole. I'm happy to be here, Momo. This is going to be a very entertaining match. Yes, entertaining indeed. Uh, and I think everybody's excited to see what's going to happen here today. There's been a lot of talk about this match. I think, uh, you know, everybody kind of was expecting these two to make it to the finals and battle it out. Uh, so we'll see. We're all excited to be here and, and, and see what's, what's about to unfold. Players are ready to go. They're warm. We have our referees ready. And here it goes. Conrado with the serve. 0-0. Zero, zero. Nice solid serve on that right side. You know, it's tough. I um, played against Conrado here on this court earlier this week, and his serves are just, you know, shooting, coming out so fast off that front wall. So it's going to be interesting to see how Kane uh, responds to that. You played on this court. What do, what do you think about those, uh, those serves? Uh, serves do come in pretty fast in this court. Uh, the concrete kind of on the side wall messes up your depth perception. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes the side wall seem it's a little farther away, but it's actually closer than you, making the ball come in a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice shot. And that is true. That glass kind of plays some tricks on you sometimes. Uh, the bounce is, you know, every time is different. It's, it's never a real consistent uh, bounce. So we got two serving zero. Nice get, almost made it. Zero serving two in this first game. This is the men's professional racquetball tour, finals here at Lombard, Illinois. Great tournament. It's been a fun week all along. You know, a lot of a lot of fans around this area, a lot of support for racquetball. And it's, it's great to see that. Nice, calm, and relaxed shot. Conrado looking looking good so far. Three for three on those pinches in yeah. the right corner. Set up for Conrado. Left corner. And, uh, you know, Kane's bit, it was pushed a little bit uh, in this tournament. Um, you know, he had some, some tough, uh, long matches. Um, so we're going to see how, how, how his body is going to handle this, this final against Conrado. <laughs> what a nice shot. And Conrado's, I mean, he hasn't really been pushed too, too, too hard this oh. tournament. So he's got a little bit of a... You know, fresh, fresh body right now, coming into this one. Short serve, second serve. Wow, nice hands. That's a perfect push on that right side. One serving three here in game number one. Nice. Nice serve. I think that's what that's what Kane needs to do. You know, if, if uh, he wants to start scoring some points, he needs to um, take advantage of that third shot. Good serve. Um, you know, get a weak return and, and, and put it away. If he, start, if he starts getting into a rally, you know, it may, uh, may be a little difficult. Definitely wants to entice Como mm -hmm. to shoot in the back court so Kane can maintain that front court position, like so we just saw there mm -hmm. with his smooth hands up in the front corners. Yeah, yeah. He's so good with his hands. He's you know, fast. He can flick, kind of do anything he wants, really. Mm -hmm. 
just like that. Yep. Pushing Como in the back, making him shoot. Kane maintaining front court. Mm -hmm. That ties it up. Three serving three. Short serve call, the referee uh, Jaime Martel. And we have our line judges, uh, just in case there's any, any close calls. Very nice. Nick serve. This is going to be set up for Kane. Powerful cross court. <laughs> that was hard. 4-3, <laughs> just like that. Quick comeback. And we're starting to see Conrado feel the pressure here a little bit. Short serve. Kane's looking focused so far. You know, he's uh, looks like he's really trying to um, he's really trying to focus on on every every shot, every serve, making sure he doesn't use any extra energy. Does it? That he doesn't have to. Once again, great hands yeah. by Kane in the front corner. That ball was practically behind him, and he got his racket around to roll it in the right corner. What an amazing shot! Nice shot. Yeah. And I believe that's the third or fourth time he's done. Uh, he's he's gotten a point on that third shot. Great serve. Here comes another setup. Wow, nice get. Look at that. Nice get from Conrad, and that's what he needs to do. You know, if he wants to stay in this game, he's gonna have to get those balls back and and do something with it. We are watching Conrado Moscoso, greatest racquetball player from Bolivia and playing the greatest racquetball player of all time, Kane Wasilinchuk. So definitely uh, an exciting final here. Wow, that was a tough shot. Did you see that flick from Kane? Very good return from Kane. Yeah. It's like a big ball shot in the mm -hmm. back left corner, stayed on the wall, but Como's back and it just silky smooth, able to mm -hmm. roll that ball out. Good serve. Gonna get the setup off the left side. Wow, nice. No call by the referee. I think uh, Conrado was looking for the two bounce, but Kane was right there, was able to get a racket on that. Most players would dive for that ball, Mamo, but Kane's footwork is so quick. He doesn't have to dive. He's able to shoot balls mm -hmm. while other players would have to dive and lunge for those balls. Yeah. Second serve. Here, still early in this first game, but you know we're seeing some some great moves here from, from both of these players. Packed house. Good shot. Conrado back in the box, down by one point. He had a, a quick early lead, three zero. Kane was uh, able to come back. <laughs> Little miss there on the serve by Conrado. And if you leave it up for the greatest player of all time, you're going to pay. That's true. That's true. And Conrado's got so much power on that serve. You know, if, you know, if I was him, I would you know, just... Aim for the ace, you know, because like you said earlier, that ball kind of just shoots off that front wall, so you may get lucky. A few times get a few free points. Nice ceiling shot. Leaves it off the back wall. Good flick. Good flick. I thought uh, I thought Kane was going to put that one away off the back wall on that right side. 
four serving five here in game number one. If you're in the area, you know, we're, we're not too far from downtown Chicago, 25 minutes roughly. So if you're in the area, you still got time to make it to, to this. Uh, wow, nice serve to this tournament. Watch these guys play. It's crazy to see them live. You know, it's one thing to see them online. But if you're here watching them in person, it's completely different. Um, completely different level. Wow. Wow. That was a great serve. I don't know how he got that back. He was able to flick it. Five, five. Tied up here. Everybody's quiet. Everybody's just enjoying it. Screen serve. Thanks everyone that's here tuned in watching this finals match, this professional racquetball tour. We're all excited to be here. Skip ball. If you guys have any predictions, put them down in the comments. Let's see, we wanna hear it. We wanna see what you think about this match and you know, maybe pick a winner, scores. Rado lining up for the drive serve. Great serve down that right side. Nice serve. Two aces, I believe, on that right side. Yeah. Como. Yeah. He's really disguising that serve, stepping to the left and going to the right, mm -hmm. and then stepping to the right and then going to the right side. Really very deceptive serving. By yeah, him. that's Rado true. Let's go, so. Wow, that was close. That was close, too. And like you said, Momo, watching it in person, this ball is coming in at a different speed. Mm -hmm. I know online it looks fast, but when you see it here in person, holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Good get. Wow. It's a good ball. And this is the hands again. King's using a lot of, a lot of touch shots here. He's able to use racket level to the floor instead of pendulum, mm -hmm. allowing him for perfect touch and control shots up front. All right, we got some predictions here. Most people are you're going with Kane. It looks like Kane two games, Kane in three games. Oh wow! Is that touch again? Trying to slow the game down on Como. Yeah, making him run, making him do something. He's really forcing Corrado to, you know, get to the ball and do something with it. Ooh, that was a hard hit. That was a really hard hit. No emotion from Kane. Like he didn't. Probably didn't even feel it because he got hit so hard. That's true. Corrado here was uh, asking for the avoidable. Uh, we're just going to replay that. Line judges agreed with the referee, Jaime Martel. So we're going to run that one back. Here we go. One Corrado fan picking Corrado in three. Great serve. Great get. A powerful, powerful shot. Stare down from Kane. Yeah, that's right. Kane just stared down Conrado on that one after the hit. He's poked the bear. Yeah. And you could see the the power that Kane brought on that shot, and now he's starting oh, yeah. to swing. He's feeling it. Yeah. I think he needed that hit. Yeah, some people... When you hit them, they get really discouraged. They try to maybe get you back, mm -hmm. fall out of their game. They become yep. give you more room. But some people like Kane, if you hit them, it switches to a full another gear. Yeah. And then for everyone watching, just uh, you know that hit wasn't done on purpose. It was you know it's part of the game sometimes. So. Yeah, it was a great serve by Kane. Como just trying to get it back in play.
Kane is up. Eight serving six. Still a close game. Right here, first game. Great serve. Nice return. Good touch. Wow. He's, man, he's really making Corrado move. Six serves eight. Corrado back in the box. Good serve on that right side. Set up for Corrado. Left corner. Left it up just enough for King to get it back. Skip ball. And I think this is where Corrado is starting to feel that pressure. You know, King is getting so many balls back. And like you said, not doesn't have to dive he's so good on, on his on his feet um corrado i think is you know starting to think that he needs to roll it and uh you know we saw a skip right there maybe going for a little too much so he needs to stay patient second serve High nick to the left side. Right up. Shoots it back. Another setup off the back wall. Leaves us flat up a little bit twice. He's having a few opportunities, Conrado, but you know, not 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 able to put it down. I think he's starting to feel the pressure here. And Kane's playing great. He's playing real smart. Really controlling the front court by Kane. Yeah. Oh, there's that glass. It looks almost like that glass is like almost a foot more to the right or a foot mm -hmm. more to the left, but it's way closer than you think. That's true. There's a, so there's a gap between the glass and the actual wall, which is, uh, yeah, about a foot, half a foot maybe. Sometimes, you know, you're waiting for that ball to hit the, the wall, but the glass is actually just a little closer to you, so it'll shoot out. Wow. wow. Man, Kane put so much power into that one. I don't know how Corrado was able to dive and re-kill that. Six serving ten, and that's what Corrado's going to have to do. On the jump, too. Yeah. What a great dive and get. See if this is a momentum changer for Corrado Moscoso. Good timeout. Conrad is going to take a timeout. We will take a timeout as well. Uh, we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six-piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Here in the men's professional final. This is Momo Zelata alongside Cole Sindri. Enjoying this match right now. Tough match. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. Let's see who can take off. Short serve called. It's pretty close. Now, remember, guys, these, these guys get two shots at the serve. So, you know, back in the days, we used to get one serve. Uh, I think it's a little bit different now. You'll see uh, these guys uh, risking the first serve a little bit more, going for the ace. Man, that control. 
Kane just anticipates shots so well. Yeah. Reads yeah. people's, his opponent's footwork. Mm -hmm. Able to jump on balls before they even shoot them and get a head start. And that comes with experience. Kane's been one of the most dominant players in the sport for longer than I've been alive. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of it is, you know, he's real solid on his feet. You know, he's always staying wide. He's always staying really low, really balanced. So that really does help him uh, when he's on the move. Good shot by Conrado. Down 6-11 right now. Conrado, man, he skipped that. He's had a few opportunities there and, you know, Hasn't been able to, to score points. Kane lining up for drive serve here. <laughs> Left side. Good splat. The Conrado, let's see if Conrado can get some points. I, I actually liked uh, when he was serving to the right side. I liked it too. Mm -hmm. Kane's so comfortable on his forehand, and it's already on the left side of your body with Kane being a lefty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going to the right side, he has to reach over on to the right, making it less time for McCutter. Good serve. Proved us wrong. Wow. Short serve. I'm gonna go with the second serve. The crowd's still here, just uh, enjoying, you know, the level of play. I think everybody's, uh, you know, just just enjoying the match right just now. Just off. Yeah, exactly. We just need that one person to start clapping so that everybody can can join. Skip ball. Don't see that much there by Kane. Yeah, rare miss, rare miss. He hasn't missed too many of those in this game. Como back in this game. He's serving eight, serving 11. Drive serve from Conrado. Right side. Close. Missed that crack just by a little bit. That was a good serve. Back and set up for Kane. Goes right down the line. Conrado gets it. We're going to replay that. Good call. <laughs> Kane just flicked that ball to the crowd upstairs and uh, someone caught it and he asked if <laughs> the ball was okay. I think Corrado, you know, looking at the referee, like, can he do that? Great ceiling ball. Close. Eight serving 11 in this first game. Still the crowd a little quiet, just enjoying it. Let's see if we can get something going here. It's a packed house, but nobody's, nobody's talking. Wow, good serve. Nice serve. Did you see that? <laughs> Kane almost got that back too with that yeah. flick. You know? Nine serving 11. And 11 coming back. Wow. 
So if you're Conrado and you're in the box, you know, that serve on the right side has been working for him. Um, he did get some aces on the left side, but if you were Conrado, do you stick with that drive? Just hit, keep hitting the same thing or, or mix it up from time to time? I mean, you're playing against Kane, one of the best players to ever play. Mm -hmm. I would maybe move in the box, mm -hmm. create a different angle. Same speed, but different angle. The ball gets on you faster. Mm -hmm. Maybe throw in a jam, get it on his hip. Just mm -hmm. try to get Kane off balance. Nice and easy backhand pinch. Point for Kane. 12, serving 9. Conrado here looking for revenge. He lost to Kane a couple weeks ago in Minnesota. Nice hands. There goes the hands again. Smooth hands by Kane, just mm -hmm. effortless. Yeah. Como really using a lot of his energy on lots of these rallies while Kane's conserving lots of his energy. Mm -hmm. We'll hope, what well, looks like it will benefit him in the long run in this match. Mm -hmm. Short serve. Kane two points away here from taking game number one, and I think this would be really important for him uh, to just, you know, get this game over with. What a nice backhand pass. I like that change of serve from Kane, throwing mm -hmm. in a junk Z to the left. Yeah. Como was anticipating, it looked like what he thought was a nick, so Como mm -hmm. had to back up real quick to recover. Yeah, smart serve. And Kane's got game point here. Game number one. He's going to line up for the drive serve. Drive serve right side, comes off the back wall, there goes the push. Wow. And gets it. And that's going to do it. Kane Wasilanchuk wins game number one here in our finals. We're going to take a timeout. Uh, we'll be back here with game number two. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today, we're in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Ironman gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marbles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here. The International Racquetball Tour coming to you live from Lombard, Illinois, the legendary glass court. Uh, this court's been around for many, many years. Some of the greatest players have played here on this court. So definitely a treat for everyone watching. Uh, Kane Wasilenchuk takes game number one. We're getting ready to start game number two. And Momo Zalata here alongside Cole Sindri enjoying this unbelievable match. What did you think about game number one? I thought that game number one was a phenomenal match, but Kane just 
controlled the front court the whole time, making mm -hmm. Como shoot from the back. Kane using very little of his energy. Yeah, we're seeing a, a, a little bit of a different Kane. Uh, and not in a bad way. He's playing smart. He's playing, uh, like you said, he's, he's, he's uh, not using up a lot of energy, but you know every move that he's making is just a really smart move. A lot of nice touches, a lot of uh, good reach, and, and just moving Conrado around, forcing him to shoot uh, from uncomfortable positions. Second serve, Conrado. Lop serve, Nick to Kane's forehand. Kane's gonna go to the ceiling, set up for Conrado. Puts it down, man, he's, he's skipped a few of those, three or four at least. You know, maybe just feeling too much pressure. Drive serve coming up here from Kane. Zero serving zero. What a bomb. Now Kane stepping the other way and going the opposite direction. Yeah. Catching Como in his tracks. Mm -hmm. And it's, cr it's, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's so crazy to see how Kane can, you know, go and hit the ball 200 miles an hour and then do a 20 mile an hour kill shot. Set up for Kane on that backhand. Nice wide angle. Wow. Nice dive from Kane. Man, he's really making Conrado move and, and do something with, with every shot. Little towel timeout. Conrado back in the box. Zero serving two. Drive serve right side. Wow, man. That's a great return. There he goes. That's what Conrado's going to have to do, you know, if he wants to score some points. That was a great serve down the right side, and Kane hit a perfect ceiling ball on the reach again. You know, so much control coming off that racket. Let's see if Conrado sticks with that drive to the right. Good serve. Great shot. Kill shot cracked out. Kane might have been looking for a replay, but no replay call by a referee, Jaime Martel. Shout out to everybody watching. Thanks for tuning in. Nice three wall balls. Look at that, man. Wow. Great get. Great get from Corona. Here, here comes the crowd. Here comes some claps. That was a great touch again, you know, from Kane. Conrado had to run all the way from that back left corner to the front, dive, and... Conrado with three straight points. Mm -hmm. Puts him up by one, three serving two in this second game. Ooh, skip ball called by the ref. Conrado thought it was good. There's another missed opportunity. And that's something you cannot do against Kane. Great serve. Uh, 
Kane, a little frustrated, thinking that uh, Corrado got that on two bounces. And we're seeing some emotion from Kane. The quiet Kane and kind of just came out of nowhere right now. <laughs> kind of scared me. Yeah. <laughs> He's been quiet the whole match up until now, which, you know, this could pump him up. I think he really wants to win this. You know, we've seen, we haven't seen, you know, Kane uh, playing much the last couple of years. Uh... I believe he was he was injured for a while. Um, started to come back slowly. He wasn't you know winning tournaments like he, he used to, but he was slowly building up, building up, building up. And we saw him win, and I think he's really looking to to make a statement and win this one too. That's two pinches in a row by Como with his forehand. He's feeling that right corner. Mm -hmm. I'm Great telling chance. you, when Conrado has that right corner on speed dial, he is unstoppable. Yeah. We saw that at the Golden State Open mm -hmm. Tournament in Pleasanton, California. Mm -hmm. He was consistently rolling balls shoulder high in that corner, and nobody could touch him. If he can get that going here, that's going to really help him. Off the back wall. Yeah. And I don't know if you've noticed. I mean, you've played here on this court, uh, and sometimes that ball will slow down when you hit the glass, you know, when you hit a splatter, when you hit a pinch. Um so maybe he, he, he just needs to put just a hair more power into it to make that front wall. Short serve. Real close. Kane going with the lob. I like how he's switching up every single lob. Good ball. Like you said, Momo, with him changing up different angles in the mm -hmm. box, he's utilizing that whole 20 feet in the service box, mm -hmm. providing different angles, different speeds, different drops on the ball with the lobster, really throwing mm -hmm. Como off. Yeah. Great serve. Oh, nice get. Look at that. Ceiling ball is perfect. Set up for Kane. Very powerful. Very Little powerful. Little smirk set. from Kane. Yeah. I like it. And I don't know if you guys were here earlier, but we saw uh, there was a there was a, there was a hit to Kane, and now we're starting to see the the mark on this left calf. Six serving four in this game number two. Kane looking focused. Great serve from Rado. Great shots. Man, you really have to put so much effort to win a, a rally against Kane. You know, not just by getting the ball, but then trying to do something with it. Drive serve Conrado. Right side leaves it up and Kane makes him pay. Conrado's been stuck getting some points. Yeah. Maybe moving two or three feet over in the box, providing different angle on the ball. Mm -hmm. Could throw Kane off because it seems Kane has Scoso's serve mm -hmm. on speed dial right now. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, Conrado's been going to that same spot every single time. And uh, here Kane asking for a, for a screen serve. It looks like he's not going to get it. So, I can, s I can see that there's a little bit of emotion uh, from Kane that wants to come out, but he, he's holding it in, I think. You can feel the intensity, though, just by watching him. Short serve. And yeah, you're right, Cole. I think, you know, Kane's starting to kind of just wait for that serve now. He's getting used to it now. So it would be great to see uh, 
Colorado switch it up or just, you know, like I said, just maybe take a step or two back and hit the same serve but ch change that angle a little bit. <laughs> Great down the line overhead. That was a good serve. Eight serving four. This is game number two. Yeah, I think the crowd is just enjoying this level of play right now. They they don't really know what what to do. They're just, you know, like you said, and all just, you know, enjoying or maybe trying to pick up some tips. Nice high nick serve. Kane's gonna shoot this overhead, goes for the splat, misses it. And Conrado missed that one too. That was a man, he got a little lucky on that one. We're still at 6 4, stuck here for a little bit, going back and forth. If you guys got your predictions, put them down. In the comments, we want to see it. We want to. We want to. We want to know what you think. Who's gonna take this this match? <laughs> Set up. Kane's forehand splat puts it down. Easy. Six serving four. Play that rally. Little mistake by Conrado, but that actually kind of worked in his favor. He got a replay instead of a, you know, instead of a point for Kane. So not too sure what what happened there. I think uh, referee called a, a foot fault. On that back line, I think Kane's uh, foot might have been right over the line. Now, that just to clarify that rule, on that back line, uh, your foot can touch the line. You just cannot be over by anything. So, and I think that's uh, that's what that call was. Four six still. We haven't seen a point from. Either one of these players. I think whoever scores the next point is going to take off maybe with two or three points. <laughs> Drive serve. Screen, screen serve, screen serve called. And Kane not too happy about that one because he, <laughs> he was able to get a good racket on it. Second serve, Conrado going with the lob. Too yeah. easy. Too easy for Kane. Right on the wall, Kane able to straighten that out with his backhand. Mm -hmm. That is amazing shot by Kane. Yeah, perfect kill shot down the line. Six serving four. We've had no points, like you said, Momo, mm -hmm. in quite a while. Let's see if any one of these players can capitalize. Mm hmm We have a packed house here. Here we go. Set up for Kane. Backhand. Goes down the line. Corrado gets it back. It's reverse. Nice and calm. Reverse pinch. And saw a little bit of a stare from Kane. Just looking at Corrado on the floor. Like, yeah, I just hit that. Conrado here having a little bit of a talk with the referee. I think he was uh, looking for that short serve from that previous rally. Were you able to see it, Cole? I didn't see it. I thought it was a good serve right over the line. Okay. We appealed it. That was, there was an appeal, but one line judge agreed with the referee, one disagreed.
I think Conrado thought Kane was just a little too close on that one. Didn't take the swing. Um, no call from the referee. So that's uh, that's going to be a point for Kane. Eight serving four. Two, two kind of quick points for Kane. And that's what I was... Wow, what a serve. I think it was so powerful. Appeal coming up. Yeah. Mom and I thought it was a good serve. Let's yeah. see what the linesmen say. Short uh, <laughs> short called by uh, by the referee. Kane appealed it and, and uh, you know, got the, uh, got it overturned. So it's going to be a point. That was power. That was real powerful. And, and that's what I was saying earlier, man. You know, whoever was, was going to score that point uh, was going to get two or three points. Foot fault again. Kane doesn't like it. Let's see if we can get an eye on that. I'm not sure if, if he's calling the back line or the front line. So we got a question here that, you know, seeing how, how fast you thought that serve was. What did you, what did you think, Cole? Way too fast for me to count. <laughs> and keep in mind, we're playing with the gearbox black ball. Yeah. For the long time, the IRT used to play with the purple pinball, which was a lot faster ball than the gearbox black mm -hmm. ball. And Kane is still ripping this ball. Yeah, that was hard. I would say, I would say that was probably 170, 180. Timeout. Oh. Timeout by Conrado. We are going to take a timeout as well. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Coming to you live here, the Men's Professional Racquetball Tour. It's here in Lombard, Illinois. And this is our Men's Pro Final between Kane Wasilinchuk and Conrado Moscoso. I'm almost a lot alongside Cole Sindri. Enjoying this this match, enjoying kind of a, of a little different Kane we saw earlier you know, in the match. Uh, Playing with a lot of control, and now he's starting to bring the heat. Like he wants, he wants this to be over. Second serve for Kane. High lob. Conrado's gonna wait. Takes it off the back wall. Oh, I think Kane kind of lost focus on that one a little bit. Conrado lining up for the drive serve. Goes with the Z, misses his opportunity. I think maybe thinking about it too much. You know, he just needs to play his game, you know. At this point, um, you know, you just, just, just swing, kind of take a little bit of pressure off yourself. Skip ball. It's fine. Kane can go for those uh, low percentage shots there. Mm -hmm. uh, he is up 10 serving 4, so if he did make that shot, that would have given him a lot of momentum. But mm -hmm. even though he skipped it, really no harm done. Moscoso still has a massive mountain to climb back to get back in this game. 4 That's serving true. 10. Wow. Good serve by Conrado. Skip ball from Kane. First point from Conrado in a very long time in this oh, wow. second game. Yeah, let's see if we can... Uh, 
keep this momentum going. I think he's, uh, you know, trying out a, a few different serves. Seeing, uh, seeing if he can find one that's going to work for him. Two misses by Conrado there. You know, left his, his serve up a little bit. Putting Kane back in control. Here we go, Kane with the drive serve. Let's see if we can see another bomb like we saw earlier. Great wow. serve. Jeez. Bad angle. Took a little bit of speed off of it, but it was it was perfect right into that corner. And it's so hard. I mean, you know, most of us players are right-handed, and when you're playing against a lefty, and they, you know, they drive serve over to that right side. You kind of get blocked by their body for just a second, and it's just enough where you where you lose it, and you lose that, you know, like I said, like that half step. Kane moving in the box, looking to try a different lob serve. Got what he wanted. He got a setup, mm -hmm. just didn't put it away. Yeah, and I believe that's the first time Kane's hit that Z lob to the left. So we're seeing. Many, many different serves from Kane. That's where Conrado, you know, he's just got the two or the three go go tos that he's um, he's serving. And I, you know, I would love to see a little bit of a change, uh, like we were talking about earlier. Even if it's just a step. Yeah, I feel like he's just going left and right. Mm -hmm. Not much variety in his serve. Not much angle. Is there's I haven't seen a jam. I haven't seen a Z in that's a very true. long time. Yeah, that's just true. Just feel like it's left or right. Kane's mm -hmm. reading it perfectly. Yeah. Here comes the touch. It's crazy how he can <laughs> he can he can hit it 180 and then you know 20 mile an hour kill shot. So that comes to show that you don't always have to take a full swing at every shot. And Kane here getting closer to another title. A serve point 13. Serving five, two points away. Short serve. Second serve for, K for Kane. Let's see uh, what he comes up with here. And I'm, I'm sure he's going to mix it up. Yeah, let's go. Different position. Different serve. Great cutoff by Conrado. 5-13. Like you said, long road to come back from 5-13, from but, you know, if somebody can do it. It's Conrado. Wow. And that's a little bit of a cane shot right there. Kane getting a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Point for Corrado, 6, 13, one point at a time. A little bit of a switch up. Wow. wow. <laughs> I think everybody thought that ball was down. I don't know how Kane was able to get it and, and flick it for another kill shot. Side out. Kane's footwork is just phenomenal. Mm-hmm. They serve. That's the second one down that left side. And this is going to give Kane his first match point. I think uh, Conrado peeling this. Fourteen six For the match, Kane wants to line check. Is he, is he going to shoot a bomb again? Drive serve, left side. Wow. And that's going to do it. Kane Wasilenchuk wins here. Men's professional racquetball. He's <laughs> holding up the two. Holding up the two, two in a row. It's been a while since we've seen Kane 
win two tournaments in a row, and he looks really happy about this one. And I think we're seeing, uh, you know, a different type of, of excitement, a different type of cane that we haven't seen in, seen in a while. Um, really had to work, you know, the last last couple of months to be able to to do this. So we're going to have an interview with uh, with the players here in just a little bit. Um, but before that, we'll take a quick timeout. Don't go anywhere. You'll, you'll hear here from the from the champion. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we're in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents including North and South America, Europe, Africa and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought-after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marble. I'm here with Joe and Dan of the Glass Court presenting the second place medal to Conrado Moscoso of the Papa Nicholas Shamrock Shootout. We want to thank the IRT and all the players that came out. Uh, we really appreciate the participation. Uh, we look forward to many more years of this. Uh, it was an excellent match. Uh, we are very grateful and blessed that uh, we have that level of competition here and coming on to Illinois and to the glass court, and we thank you all. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, 
First of all, uh, thank you everyone uh, in Bolivia. Thank you for support for me. Uh, thank you for the support for the record ball all time. Uh, thank you for the sponsors for the is a possibility for the tournament, Papa Nicolas uh, and all and IRT, uh, obviously. And my family, uh, thank you so much. A toda la gente que está viéndome en Bolivia, eh, todo gracias por todo el apoyo. Y bueno, eh, muchísimas gracias por verme y sobre todo por todo el apoyo que recibí. Gracias. And now, presenting our winner of the Papa Nicholas Shamrock Shootout. He's coming off the court right now. It is Kane Wazalinenchuk. Uh, this medal is presented to you by Joe and Dan of the Glass Court. Uh, here is Kane. Well, here we are again. Uh, probably a few more times we're going to get him back here and we're going to see him winning. He's incredible. And uh, amazing to see the match and the competition. Uh, it's really exciting for the club, the sport, the IRT, and sports in general. I mean, he's the, let's call him the Michael Jordan of racquetball, which we all have known that, but somebody who exemplifies sportsmanship, great uh, competition, and we really enjoy every time he comes out. Not to take away from any of the other players, once in a while you gotta let somebody else win. It's, you gotta. <laughs> That's why I tore my Achilles on purpose. Okay. You know, <laughs> so I could just I, I couldn't take any time off. So I said I'm just gonna hurt myself and take a year and a half off. That sounds like a yeah. great a yeah. great reason why. But yeah. we love to see you back here. We love to see you win, you. and we wish you many more years to compete and win. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for all the support. <laughs> to Kane, the one and only. Congratulations for first place on this year's Shamrock Shootout. And uh, keep coming back. We'll be waiting for you. As long okay. as you have it, I'll come back. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, okay. So just a few weeks ago, Kane, you were in tears. You know, you won the Hall of Fame tournament thinking that you'd never be able to come back mm -hmm. and play at the level like you did for the past and win these types of tournaments. Mm -hmm. And now this is the second one in a row. Just tell me how you feel. Yeah, no, obviously, you know, winning the first one, that was, you know, that was pretty special, obviously. Um, you know, I was able to control my emotions, obviously, on the court a lot more. Um, you know, I've just told myself i got to act like I've been here before, you know. Um, but, no, I mean, you know, I felt like I was in control the whole match. Um, you know, I, I feel like with Conrado, if you give him any reason to, you know, to – feed off of his emotions you know he plays a lot off of his emotions and so I just kind of tried to keep it kind of just monotone out there and just do my thing and and uh, I think the worst thing you possibly could have done was hit me with the ball um, you know not unlike other people I kind of like being hit so you know you know note to everyone else you hit me with the ball I'm going to enjoy it so but I also I also I'm going to get you back too it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when so anyways with that being said it's nice to be champ again you know, and two in a row. I mean, it's funny to think that when I was coming back in Boston, my first singles, you know, no offense to Mania, but no one thought I would beat Adam Mania, you know. And here I am, two tournaments in a row. Boy, were you guys wrong, huh? <laughs> but uh, I like pr I like proving everybody wrong. I like uh, I like the competition. I like the uh, um, I like the challenge. It's a new challenge for me, um, you know. And you little bastards are half my age, and golly, you know, you guys don't even know what mm -hmm. ice is yet or warming up or whatever. It's I'm warming up at 9 o'clock in the morning in the hotel room and warming up here. And, you know, maybe that's the new rule. If I play you, you don't get to warm up. Uh, no? I don't think that would be fair. But your serves your serves in this match were absolutely amazing. They're coming in at amazing speeds. You know, lots of variety in your serves. And your front court game is absolutely amazing, you know, getting level with that ball. Mm -hmm. It's a transition we saw a few years ago. You were really power. And now coming back from injury, really slowing the game down, conserving your energy and playing amazing. Tell us how you feel about that. Well, I mean, a lot of that has to do with the ball. Um, you know, the ball is slower. Um, it, you know, it, it bounces funny at times. Uh, you know, you hit a ball, you hit a ball waist high down to like ankle high, and it slows down. And then you hit a ball four feet high, straight in, straight out, and it's a, it's a rocket. You know, so it's a little bit of an adjustment. And uh, you know, I've had to adjust to the ball big time. It's, uh, it really doesn't play in my favor. Maybe on the serve, you know, it can play in my favor, but. During the rally, it really doesn't. Um, you know, all my career, I never really hit balls three feet high down the lines, cross courts, and I had to work on that. So it's a little, 
a little interesting for a few months, you know, having to kind of change my mentality around it. But uh, I'm starting to enjoy it. Obviously, it's easy to enjoy when you're winning. Um, but uh, it's been it's been a good little challenge. And, uh, you know, after 25 years, you know, mentally, physically, I still embrace, you know, the challenge and, you know, uh, go back home. And this tournament's over. Time to look forward. Seems like purple ball or black ball, you seem to pull up these victories. Is there anybody you like to thank back home? Yeah, well, obviously all my sponsors and everybody that I play with, and and uh, you know, I mean, you guys know who you are. You know, you know, you know, obviously, what you know, you guys have all done for me and mentally, and uh, you know, when I didn't want to, when I didn't want to play, I didn't want to, you know, I had great people like I said last time, and uh, they've been here for from the beginning, and uh, you know, I'm just blessed to have true friends like that. So and sponsors. So I appreciate it, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here playing. So, uh, you know, if you guys know who my sponsors are and you see them, uh, you know, go tell them thank you because I wouldn't be here without them. And there we have it. That's Kane Wazelin and Chuck, the champion of the Shamrock Shootout, presented to you by Papa Nicholas Coffee. Uh, thank you all for watching. What an amazing tournament. Hope to see you all at the next Pro Stop.